Hi everybody, this is Judy at Judy in the Kitchen. Today I'm going to show you how to peel and cut up a butternut squash. Well, this is one of the squattiest butternut squashes I've ever seen. It's almost straight. Usually the neck is long and narrow and then the bulb end of it kind of expands out. This is almost blended. So uh, we're going to work with what we have. But usually you'll cut down at the base of the neck of it and I'm going to kind of guess where that is on this one. You need a really sharp knife and you want to cut through the neck of the squash. There we go. And I think I guessed it about right. The bulb end is where the seeds are. But we're going to work with the neck end at first. And then you want to take your knife and you want to cut off the stem end of it as well. And now we're just going to stand it up and we're going to take our sharp knife and just slice down. You want to be really careful while you're doing this because your fingers matter and you don't want to cut your fingers. Okay, now I'm going to get the scraps out of the way and show you the easiest way to cube this section. You just want to slice it down now you can cut it across and make french fries with it that way or I'm going to cut it generally just a little bit bigger and I'm going to cube the squash but you can use your make this fry into fries that way or just cut it across and make it into cubes. Now I have a nice bowl of cubes out of that little tiny neck end of that squash. Now we have the ball end that has the seeds in it and you have some choices on what to do. First of all, I like to cut it in half this way and remove the seeds. Now you don't have to cut it like this. You could turn it upside down and steam it just like it is. But we want to, I want to remove the seeds. And so just by cutting it in half that way, it makes this a lot easier to get to. And you just take a strong spoon and scrape them out. You can save these seeds and roast them just like you would pumpkin seeds. There's that one. And now we'll scrape this one. Or you can dry them out and plant them and grow some more squash if you want. Or you can put them in your compost bin, something like that. Whatever you choose to do. Now, you can turn these like this in a steamer basket and cook them. Or if you really want to peel and cube this, you can do that. It's going to be a little bit of a challenge, but I'll show you one way to do it. Cut that fourth of it in half. I'm going to take the sharp knife, cut that bottom end out. It makes it a lot easier. And then we're going to cut this across and make it easier to peel. We have one nice sized bowl of cubes out of that one little squash. It's going to go a long way. I do hope this helps. This is Judy at Judy in the Kitchen. Bye for now.